brain is embodied. It lives in a body, it uses a body, it gets all its sensations through a body that carries sensory epithelia, sensory sheets, sensory organs. Not only that, but the way that we acquire that information, the way that we sample our world, the way that we are coupled, uh, tethered to the world, depends upon movement. If you think about it, there's very little that you can do, apart from secretion, without movement, without your body. You know, speaking, looking at different parts of the world, perambulating, moving around, redeploying limbs, nearly everything depends simply upon moving your body. So the only way that the brain can talk to the environment is through its body. And if you deny that and just look at the brain as some passive sensory filter that's in a privileged position of receiving all this rich, interesting sensory information which it has to make sense of, you're going to get a very false perspective on the game that the brain is actually playing.